Welcome to another quality tutorial by FacultyDev.com These screencast tutorials should be viewed at a minimum screen resolution of 1024 x 768. If you are using Internet Explorer or Firefox, pressing the F11 key will switch to full screen viewing mode. To return to regular viewing mode, just press the F11 key again. For the most effective training experience, use this screencast tutorial with the print title, Adobe InDesign CS2 Revealed. Click on the cover image to purchase this title at Amazon.com. We hope you find this tutorial useful, and welcome your comments. This screencast tutorial will look at changing document views using the pages and navigator palettes. Refer to the section titled Navigating Through a Document in the print title Adobe and Design Revealed for further information. Adobe and Design provides a control at the bottom of a document window for moving between pages. You can type in the page number to move to any page in the document or move forward and backwards using the arrow controls. You can also open the pages palette to navigate through the document. The first slide is a facing spread and shows a single page. The following slides have two page spreads. Note that the page numbers are shown below the page icons. Let's scroll down to see the pages in the document. Double-clicking a page icon will navigate to that page. Double-clicking on the numbers below the icon will show both pages of the spread. You can insert a page by clicking on the Insert Page icon at the bottom of the palette. The page will be inserted after the currently selected page. Let's close the page palette using the window menu. Another useful palette is the Navigator palette. We'll use the window menu again. The Navigator palette is nested under the Objects and Layout option. The Navigator palette shows a small copy of the current page. The red square around the image is the zoom window. You can adjust the zoom by using the slider control. Dragging the zoom window changes the main document view. The zoom value is shown at the bottom. You can type the value into the control. There are also increase and decrease zoom controls on either side of the slider. The navigator can be a real-time saver. You may want to leave it open or dock it on the side. Let's close it for now. This concludes the screencast tutorial on Adobe and Design CS2. For the most complete learning experience, consider purchasing the print title, Adobe and Design CS2 Revealed. Clicking on the cover image will take you to the product page for this book at Amazon.com. The student files for this title are also available at www.course.com slash revealed. We hope you found this screencast tutorial useful, and welcome your comments.